Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This time I'm excited to demo the Empress Effects tape delay. I'm going to be using my MJT VTT Telecaster guitar with Porter pickups in it into my matchless Lightning 15 watt amplifier into my 112 matchless cabinet mic'd with a Sennheiser E906 and here is my clean tone. <laughs> And here is the Empress. So as you can hear, the vintage mode that we've selected on the Empress tape delay really, really nails a great vintage tape delay sound. Um, and so very quickly, I just want to show you, um, explain the controls. They're pretty self-explanatory. Mix is the wet and dry signal. Um, the delay time and ratio knob has two different options. Um, one, when you're selecting tap, it's a ratio knob. So one to two was the ratio we were just playing. Uh, one to one or other options to create different rhythmic delays. You just tap in quarter notes. Um, it is a delay time knob when you're on the fast and slow options up here. Then we have a feedback knob and it controls the length of the decay in the delay signal. And output is the overall volume when the effect is engaged. Up here, we have a tape age switch. We have a new tape option, an old tape option, and then what we were just listening to, the vintage mode. And it adds a little bit of sort of wow and flutter. It really nails that vintage tape delay sound. Um, so this delay time switch, the tap mode is there. Um, the middle is a slow and the right is a fast uh, delay time. And in those different modes, you can use the tap switch to select different presets. So I have a preset that is green and one that is or just red color. And um, when we're in those modes, remember this is a delay time knob. The tap switch obviously is not working. Um, you enable the presets very simply. Uh, hold down these two when you plug in the pedal and you can decide whether you want two presets, which I've selected, or three presets um, and or no presets at all. And it's a really, really great uh, pedal. You don't have to buy anything else to be able to have presets with it. Uh, no extra pedals or cables or anything. It's all packed in this enclosure. Super cool. Um, then we have a filter switch right here. High pass filter, low pass filter, no filtering at all on the repeats. Then modulation, a little bit of modulation, a lot of modulation, or none at all. Super cool, really easy, um, and uh, nice to, uh, to dial in. So if we wanted to dial a brighter, a more rhythmic delay, we'd probably turn up the mix a little bit. Um, choose a new tape. Uh, we'll leave it in tap mode. I'll choose a uh, stronger sort of rhythmic pattern uh, with a ratio knob there. And I'll leave the filter and modulation off for now. I'll show you exactly how those work in one moment. And uh, here's clean signal. <laughs>
So you can hear when you choose a stronger mix, um, more rhythmic in the repeats, and you choose a new tape age. Um, it really uh, gives you nice, clean, pristine, strong repeats, um, and it's a great option for those rhythmic delay players that are out there. Um, and now I'm just going to show you a little bit how the filtering works. So this is no filtering again. <laughs> This is a high pass filtering, so it should get a little bit thinner as the sound decays. Again. And a low pass filtering. It's a little bit darker, murkier, sort of, as it decays. And now no filtering or modulation. Now we'll add a little bit of modulation for you. And a lot or more modulation. So pretty cool uh, just being able to select all those different options. Really handy with switches like that. Um, and um, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of a darker delay sound. Um, we will go to a low pass filter. We'll go to an older tape age and we will leave the modulation off uh, for the moment. And uh, just let you listen now. We'll add some heavier modulation. So as you can hear, that is sort of a thicker um, tape delay sound, a little bit kind of more uh, older, darker, more syrupy kind of almost in the repeats with the modulation added like that. Um, now really quickly, I'm just going to show you how uh, you access those presets. So you exit the tape mode, and we have the two different presets here. So we have the green preset, and then we have the red preset. And so we'll go back to the green. And um, we turn the effect on like this. And then if I want to switch uh, which preset I'm using, change quickly to that. This is a different preset now. So you can hear just very quickly switching between two different presets like that. So if you have a song that you really need two different delay times and they're quite different, you don't want to be bending down and uh, changing the delay time or uh, tapping uh, like a crazy madman. You can just use these presets up to three. Um, I've just enabled two in that location there right now. Uh, Empress has really, really done an exceptional job with this pedal. I find it really does a really beautiful tape delay sound. Gives you all the options, but yet keeps it really, really simple. Um, really easy to use and um, very uh, friendly size for the pedal board. Uh, for a uh, tappable delay uh, with presets. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like if you like, dislike if you absolutely have to. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, every view and comment and like really do help. Thank you very much and have a great day.